Arbiter led forces. And if he runs out of scans completely and he's got no science vessels, because he hasn't even built any science vessels yet, if he runs out completely, then Driven can actually just push through the middle of the map uh, with a huge force of Arbiters and units. And uh, that's going to be uh, a real problem for Advocate, considering that he won't be able to detect anything. Uh, the tanks there have just shelled the, shelled the expansion. Advocates tried to put up an expansion at the uh, the 10 o'clock position by the looks. Uh, he's just going back to it now with an SCV, but uh, yeah, it'll be a while before that one comes up. Advocate currently on five bases, except his mi his main is mined out, and Draven does look like he's on three, four, uh, possibly five now, if you include the, the six o'clock down there. So, uh, game's fairly, feel, still fairly even at this point. Oh my god, we're going to attack moving across the middle of the map. Uh, mine's going off. Arbiter's getting into position. Looks like we're going to be seeing some stasis. Come on, stasis. Yes, stasis right over the tank. So this is going to be difficult for Driven. He's, he's losing his tanks. Another stasis goes off. So um, that's less tanks that are going to be uh, in siege mode shelling. And uh, Driven just uh, really forcefully pushing through the map here. Uh, massive fight going off. That uh, Arbiter's being rocketed by the uh, by the Goliath, but Driven in a in a great position here, just he's left, he's leaving those tanks alone. Now just moving, pushing off uh, over to the west, just taking out another tank. Um, he'll be able to stay in position and kill all of those tanks, but he can't because there's another group of tanks over to the left. Uh, driving now, now pulling in, and yeah, again, there doesn't seem to be uh, enough scans, uh, scan energy to go around. Possibly, there, yeah, there was one or two at least, and another. Uh, we got another stasis field just hit there, so all of the tanks have been hit by stasis field. Uh, the only problem is that Driven won't be able to go back and, and wait for them because there's other, any other units coming. And uh, there's the first vessel. Stasis field is, seems to have, have worn off at at least one position. And Driven is now heading up to the top of the map to actually get rid of these expansions by um, for Advocate. So that was, that fight was actually worth it for for Driven by far because he's he's broken the um, the seal through the middle of the map and he's had an opportunity to go and actually kick some ass uh, in terms of the expansions over there. Another another stasis going down uh, over the over to the left over to the west here for these three tanks and they'll easily be taken out by Driven's forces once the stasis wears off uh, and then. Uh, Driven has now got a, an escape route because he doesn't have to go through straight through the middle of the map anymore. Uh, although Advocate's forces looks like they might be pressing in now. So Advocate, yeah, Advocate is pressing in with his forces, but Storm's going off again. Uh, one defense matrix on the tank. I'm really surprised that he didn't go for EMP. Uh, instead, maybe he didn't research it. But uh, it definitely needs EMP because of, of Driven's use there of uh, High Templars and Arbiters. So EMP would really be welcome. I would love to see him use some EMP at this point. Uh, that would really help Advocate. Uh, and we've got two Dragoons up the top. Uh, Arbiter moving around, maybe looking for another recall over to the, uh, to the east. Uh, it's got some missile turrets up, so that will help. But I don't think that's enough turrets right around the base because there's still a plenty of entry points that at Driven will be able to use, and he's still got more Arbiters ready. Another one being produced right there. Advocate holding on to the middle of that. Oh my god, massive recall coming in. Massive recall. That's about 10 Dragoons and 3 High Templars. Uh, crazy stuff. And Driven is actually just uh, recalled straight into Advocate's natural expansion. He's moving up the ramp here and uh, he should be able to do a little bit of damage at least. Storm is going off. It's, it's really great that he brought those High Templars in because uh, he's going to be able to storm a lot of units. Uh, he, I have to say that he's not actually in the best position that I've ever seen for a recall. He just did. He, oh, the only thing is that he recalled a lot of units, and these uh, ones are going to go down. Maybe he suspected that there will be more SCVs to kill, or maybe he already did, did kill the SCVs. Can't tell. Uh, yeah, well, let's mind out anyway. And Advocate actually dealing with this. Um, in hindsight, though, that didn't seem to be the best recall that I've ever seen. It was. It was. It wasn't the worst either. But uh, maybe it was a distraction for a driver elsewhere. Possibly it's because the re recalled units uh, didn't have a better didn't have a better thing to do didn't have anything else that uh, they could have accomplished. By the way, um, Rage and Chill were in obs for this game, and it looks like Rage has just been uh, kicked out of the game because uh, he was being he was lagging. Another recall going off. Another recall straight into uh, Advocate Space. This is a much better position recall because uh, these units will just be able to uh, destroy buildings left, right, and center, taking out an armory. Uh, they'll be able to take out some supply depots. I'd really go for the command center if I was driving. Uh, sorry, not the command center, the comsat station in particular, because uh, it's really just getting rid of that detection and and and, and scouting. 
which is a really good idea in, in a situation like this in a TVP. Yeah, uh, this this attack will be put down, but uh, he's definitely kept the pressure up on advocates consistently. Jaivan actually dominating, the, well not dominating this game, but he's he's got a firm lead, not just not so much in unit counts, count in resources. I know that uh, advocate actually has a lot of lot of a uh, lot of money, but it's just uh, tactically, Drivin has more options and he's he's able to dictate the play a lot better. And that is what is um, helping him to take this game so far. Uh, Advocate certainly hasn't lost. There's Chill being kicked out by, I assume it was Advocate kicking him out. Advocate over in Russia, um, it's very easy to lag him out. So uh, the live cast would have reached this point in the game, but there wouldn't have been a live cast after this. So you guys will have my commentary now if, uh, if that's good enough for you. Uh, Driven is has secured these three bases at the six o'clock uh, around the six o'clock position, so he's well entrenched in this game. Uh, plenty of resources streaming in for him now, just putting up a whole lot of gateways. Really, just um, this is this is like the very very late game that we're we've now entered into, and all parties just looking to try and maximize their effect. Driven has actually been upgrading more consistently than Advocate, and he is ahead on upgrades. So that is another thing which is uh, causing him to uh, just pull ahead at this point in time. Another comms that left the life. Driving at this point, uh, oh, another recall, another recall. Oh man, straight again. This is a massive recall, heaps of Dragoons this time. Right again into uh, Advocate Space, finally taking out that commsat station. Uh, Advocate, I believe, is down to a single commsat station because he hasn't bothered to build one in his island expansion, as far as I recall. Uh, as far as I recall, get it? <laughs> man, that was weak. Sorry about that. Sorry about my lame jokes, guys. I'll just stick to analysis and commentary. Um... Storms going off now, uh, very accurate storms, just crushing those tanks. There's another group of tanks protecting that expansion right there. Uh, Driven doesn't even need to bother with it at this point. Driven has actually really pulled ahead in this game, and I'm ex expecting him to win it th at this point. And uh, since this is game three, he will be taking out the series and going through to the TSL, so hats off to him. Uh, this recall is just going to do heaps of damage. Advocate doesn't even have enough units available to, to, pr to protect himself. Advocate's built a command center at the 12 o'clock, but... Uh, and moving all of his SVs, almost all of his SVs there. Uh, Driven seems to realize this, and it's now pushing through the mines. There's no tanks there to stop the Dragoons from killing the mines, but the Dragoons running into the mines anyway. That's okay. Uh, he can afford to lose a few units at this point. Advocate slowly pushing across the map, but it's not going to be quick enough. Uh, and that uh, Arbiter is actually shooting some stasis over onto the tanks. So well done here. Uh, Advocate is not able to defend his base and uh, control the middle of the map at the same time at this point. So uh, Driven really just walking away with this. He's going to be uh, just breaking his way past the Terran force at this point and moving right around to the 12 o'clock. Once he gets to the 12 o'clock, that's going to be it for all um, all of the reserve SCVs that uh, Advocate's built up through the game. Uh, and he'll just have nothing left. He won't be able to continue mining resources and pumping. He's trying to build factories now, but oh my god, the force is just running straight to the factories before they're, they're built. Um, Advocate having to cancel these, and uh, that's going to be it. Seriously, guys, we've got a big group of tanks coming through, but that is not going to be enough, uh, because remember, his his main is getting destroyed as we speak. Driven has uh, completely uh, filled up the 6 o'clock position. He's building more gateways, uh, and it's, it's, it's going to be trouble. Um, the tanks sh should be able to take out the small Dragoon force here. But yeah, as I said, um, I think that's going to be it. So, guys, really uh, in quite enjoy this game, and thanks for watching. Hats off to Driven uh, for uh, for taking this out. So, 2-1 two, two, win to Driven. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been the TSL. You listen to Vol.